Hello, Aries, getting ready to do your reading. All right, let's see what's showing up for you, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, you have the Three of Cups as the center of the reading, the overall energy. So, not it could be a happiness, could be a third party. We'll see. We have the Eight of Coins, we have the Page of Coins, and we have the Okay, probably is happiness, Page of Cups. Under the deck with this is the Chariot, so it could be a Cancer, and that's what's coming in. Some type of communication. Some of you just need to honestly just wait it out, rest, relax, listen to your intuition. You don't need to rush anything. Something is going to come in for you. Something is going to arrive, and we'll just leave it at that. So let's see what the Three of Cups is for you. We have the Tower Energy. There's that Chariot again, and Page of Wands. Okay. Woo! So... This could be someone having an epiphany with the tower energy. This is a breakthrough. This is maybe realizing that they have feelings for you or you for them. This could be somebody moving with both chariot and tower together. This may be, so this might be for someone, a long distance relationship that you have, that someone might decide that they want to move closer to be with you. Because there's definitely communication that's coming in that you've been waiting for. So the tower, I feel like it's somebody else's. It could be yours, but I feel like it's someone else having to make a change or a realization is coming through. I think this makes you happy with the Three of Cups. What is the Seven of Wands? Lovers, Knight of Cups, Two of Swords. Okay, I'm gonna take that one also because I feel like you may be pushing this person away, possibly. Um, this person is, I don't know why you would do that though, but you have, okay, First of all, you have temperance on one side, which is like obviously taking it slow. So it's like you don't want to rush into this. You don't want to make any major decisions. It feels like you know who this person, like how you, the two of you connect emotionally at the heart level with, with the three of cups showing up and the lovers showing up. But it feels like you don't want to go too fast. You don't want to rush into this is what I'm seeing there. It could be Sagittarius or Gemini energy. What is the eight of coins? Four of wands. Here you are, two of coins. Okay. Yeah, again, not really wanting to rush anything. You may, you know, be in a really good place financially or, you know, four of wands. You may be trying to decide if you want to give up a relationship that you have in your life for this person or, you know, your own personal freedom or your own apartment. Maybe this person wants to move in. Maybe they moved and they want to move in with you or they want you to move in with them. Also, as I'm seeing here, so okay, this is a big decision for you. So you may not want to go too fast, is what I'm seeing here. Maybe maybe you feel like they are rushing you a little bit. You would like to take things a little slower, or I just switched around. Maybe that's how they're feeling. Let's see what the page of coin is. Ace of Cups, Judgment, the Hermit. Wow. Okay. Could possibly be a Virgo, but I get more like... Almost like if you push this away for too long, it's gonna end up going away. But I mean, obviously you have an offer here, and then it's like, well, let me go think about this for a long time. Let me, I really need to figure this out. Same with the Temperance card. So what? what is the Page of Cups? What is going on? Full, Four of Coins. Oh, Six of Cups. Okay, wow. This is what I'm kind of seeing here. It feels like things were going well with this, maybe this connection or this relationship. It was possibly long distance. And then there's like something here where it's like about to get sped up in the future. Things are going to change. Maybe someone is going to want to move in or, you know, want to be more committed. It seems like a really big deal. There seems like there's both financial and, you know, the security part and the love here being offered to you. And you're just not really sure. Now, for some of you, this could be a new beginning with this person, but you may have some resentment from the past. You may have some some things you're hanging on to from the past. Some of you, you might even be hanging on to a person from your past, hoping that you would be with them instead. Let's clarify the um, the hermit. Why? Because it's almost like you have a you're disappearing from an offer. I mean, you could be ghosting someone or they're ghosting you. It could be that somebody went back to their past, their ex, and that maybe is where they went. Like things were looking good and then all of a sudden they change. We have temperance again, we have six of swords, and we have the hair font. 
Okay, someone might feel that being in a relationship will break your heart. Again, this could be them. This could be, someone has a fear of being hurt. It's not a fear of commitment in this reading. This is a fear of being hurt. This is causing someone to like slam on the brakes because they they're going back and they're re, they're pulling out all the baggage from the past. The four of coins. I feel like this is all my baggage. This is all my hurt, and I was hurt. I was betrayed. I was lied to. It didn't work out the way I thought. Because you have a beautiful opportunity in front of you, and it looks good, but you. And again, it could be switched, but someone is like thinking, you know what, if I move toward this relationship, I'll end up getting my heart broken. So I don't want to do it. So I see someone saying, I just don't want to do this. I don't want to go there and disappearing. So if you possibly an earth sign, if the earth sign you're dealing with, maybe they ghosted you, but it could be because they do not want to get hurt again. If it's possibly a water sign, again, they may have gone back to their past. Their ex is there, six of cups, they may have kids. I'm saying if they disappeared, for, that's your explanation that they're showing me. We have a fire sign also, but that's your energy. What is the six of cups? Is, I don't actually I'm getting that in the future because I feel like this is not over though you're taking your time you're thinking this through I don't feel like you if this is you you're not gonna ghost if it's them they're gonna come back around they're um, they may be worried about giving too much with the moon in a past relationship maybe they had to give a lot financially or you know or it was you it was not balanced Maybe they felt like they were always the one who had to make the first move or be romantic or something like that. Like it, was, it feels like it was unbalanced with the moon and six of coin there. Because moon to me tells me there's some type of you know secret. There's something, there's a fear there. There's something that they don't realize about the past. What is, let me see. It could be a Pisces specifically, but what is this, what is this moon energy? Wheel of fortune, will turn, chariot new beginning yeah this person there is someone here who's not going to like let, let you get away that easily okay that's kind of what I'm seeing here there's some fear between the two of you so I'm not sure if this is yours or theirs but there's the moon can be this person's not gonna give up actually what I'm seeing so you may want to hang on to the past you may want to you know go back to the past or something like that but again this is like this person seems to know that you're fearful of that and they're going to keep coming in anyways with this cup because then the for the moon it's like I'm gonna charge ahead I mean if that's not like being strong and speaking your truth ace of swords and giving it all you got and moving you know let, letting the past go I mean that is pure like strength moving on moving forward energy let's see your advice the masculine so I feel like the masculine energy will take control in this situation I do I feel like that's what I'm seeing here you know what I'm feeling I'm feeling like one person is just like I don't want to get hurt I don't want to do it the other one is saying we're gonna do it and I'm gonna carry you forward it's okay we're gonna we're gonna get through this with the six of coin knight of cups there's a gentle energy but underneath that that gentle energy underneath that persona there is a very strong masculine energy pushing this forward and who will help you because there's definitely someone who's dragging their feet and if it's you I get like it's just it's okay if it's the masculine dragging their feet well let's see or you might might be the masculine feminine backwards I'm not sure but I feel like the masculine if that is you or the other person is gonna be the one to push this forward okay we have the chaser yeah so chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Okay. Hmm. Let me do one more because is that why they're pushing this forward? Are they chasing you? Are they coming towards you? Because there is someone who's doing a lot of work. So there's somebody who is pushing this forward, I can tell. What is the other card, please? Let me do one more. The runner. Huh? Can you get better? This is the actual combination. One person is running and one person is chasing, and then it switches around. Once one they get caught, then it switches around, right? So, this is um, fear of int intimacy and listening to ego. 
So one of you is a runner, one of you is a chaser at this point in the relationship. But some of this is just a fear of, you know, fear of abandonment. It's fear of being hurt again. It's fear, it's, it's you know what I mean? It's this type of energy. So it's very natural for someone to be running the other direction in this connection. Because there's a strong connection here. And someone wants to move forward and someone is not ready. So I'll let you decide on your own what you want to do with this reading. And um, I do feel like the masculine will take charge. Okay, let me get advice. Okay. There are romantic feelings here. One more. Someone is needing to release an ex that I did see that here. So I, I'm getting then that might be what you someone's hanging on to in order to not move forward. They're comparing everything to the ex or they're just hanging on to the ex. So for some of you, you'll know who that is. You know that there is someone who is not letting that go. Could be you, could be them. And let me do one more. There could still be feelings between the exes, but we have past life relationships. So that's always difficult. All right, under the deck is give your relationship a chance. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave it there. That's all I'm picking up for now. Have a really good week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.